Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day to you, <clears throat> depending where you are in the world. It's my nighttime devotion. The devotion always lift him up. The title today is Hid with Christ in God. The scripture reading comes from Psalms 92, verse 12. The righteous shall flourish flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. See the weary traveller toiling over the hot sand of the desert, with no shelter to protect him from the rays of the tropical sun. His water supply fails, and he has nothing with which to... Sh- to s- Slake his burning, his burning thirst, sorry. His tongue becomes swollen, he staggers like a drunken man. Visions of home and friends pass before his mind as he believes himself ready to perish. Suddenly, he sees in the distance, rising out of the dreary, sandy waste, a palm tree, green and flourishing. Hope quickens his pulses. He presses on knowing that that which gives vigour and freshness to the palm tree will cool his fevered blood and give him renewed life. As is the palm tree in the desert, a guide and a consolation to the fainting traveller, so the Christian is to be in the world. He is to guide weary souls, full of unrest, and ready to perish in the desert of sin to the living water. He is to print his fellow men to him, sorry, to point his fellow men to him who gives to all the invitation. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. The sky may be as brass. The burning sand may beat about the palm tree's roots and pile itself around its trunk. Yet the tree lives on, fresh and vigorous. Remove the sand and you discover the secret of its life. Its roots strike down deep into the waters hidden in the earth. Thus it is with the Christian. His life is hid with Christ in God. Jesus is to him a well of water, springing up like everlasting life. His faith, like the rootlets of the palm tree, penetrates beneath the things that are seen, drawing life from the fountain of life. And amid all the corruption of the world, he is true and loyal to God. The sweet influence of Christ's righteousness surrounds him. His influence elevates and blesses. The humblest, the poorest of the disciples of Jesus can be a blessing to others. They may not realise that they are doing any special good, but by their unconscious influence they may start waves of blessings that will widen and deepen, and the blessed results they may never know till the day of final reward. They are not required to weary themselves with anxiety about success. They have only to go forward quietly, doing faithfully the work God's providence assigns, and their life will not be in vain. Their own souls will be growing more and more into the likeness of Christ. They are workers together with God in this life, and are thus fitting for the higher work and the unshadowed joy of the life to come. <clears throat> Imagine being in a desert, thirsty, hot, dry, and then you see a palm tree. Then try and imagine if you will. Being that palm tree to someone who 
doesn't know God. And seems to be sinking in this world of sin. Can we be that palm tree? I'd like to think we can.